Well, it's time to dive back into Helldivers 2 with the controversy that is continuing to happen. Yes, they reversed the PlayStation Network linking for the game, but something is still awry. They are still banning this game in over 170 countries, and we need to take a closer look at this. Now let's uh let's go to Niche Gamer on this one. Helldivers 2 is still effectively banned in countries without PlayStation Network coverage. It, it's kind of ridiculous to think that this game, which was a global viral trend to play this game, they also had server issues right at the beginning of the game, and it, that's now been blamed on the PlayStation Network that they were trying to require for it, but everything is not right. Before we go any further with this video, do yourself a favor. Do this for yourself and hit the subscribe button, because I sit here, I... I try to upload daily uh, and you're missing some of the most fantastic content that I have made in a long time and that's me going in the middle of nowhere and filming some of these videos. It's absolutely hilarious to me to be able to do something like that and marvel at the chance of being able to do that in this day and age. We also cover quite a bit of pop culture and gaming news so subscribe for yourself to this channel today. Something is still not right and we're gonna dig in a little bit because we've got some tweets from Pirate Software, if you guys have been following him, he's one of the newest trends on YouTube. If you haven't followed Pirate Software, uh, in a lot of his takes are absolutely hilarious. Uh, he is also a ex-Blizzard employee as well. The game held ever so is effectively banned on Steam in more than 100 countries without access to PlayStation Network. The game became unavailable for purchase or activation in these countries during recent debacle where Sony forced Arrowhead to once again require players to link their Steam account with a PSN account to continue playing Helldivers 2 on PC. Now, and however, Sony corrected course. Fans are still wondering why the game is still blocked in these regions. Well, part of that comes down to the thread that Pirate Software has actually put together. The Helldivers 2 community was tricked by Sony. Sony declaring having PSN accounts uh, would be mandatory to play Helldivers 2. The community revolted and trashed the game review score to a 13% positive. That's absolutely abysmal. Sony walked it back and stated that they wouldn't be making it mandatory. Declaring the victory, the community undid the massive wave of negative reviews, yet Sony did something sinister in the background. This was shortly after it. They restricted Helldivers 2 from being purchased in all 177 countries where PlayStation Network isn't available. They fooled you into thinking the devs are still fighting the, fighting to fix it. And this is the list where it's all been banned. On top of that, those claiming that these two different two actions were not associated in trying community note me, Sony restricted sales at 2200 uh, UTC time on May 4th and sent out notices of walking back the PSN requirement at 4 UTC on May 6th. These actions were 30 hours apart. The waves of downvotes started on May 3rd and continued until Sony announced the PSN requirement was dropped on May 6th. You can review the package information via Steam Customer Reviews tool. Quite simply, you can also do this with uh, Steam VD. You can see when the wave of dislikes and uh, relikes of this game came down to it, the positive versus negative reviews. Sony has also blocked all of these countries from purchasing Ghosts of Tsushima Director's Cut mostly because they are also requiring PlayStation Network to be able to play this game in the online mode. Apparently in the offline mode, you don't need that, but they're still blocking it from purchase on Steam for some reason. Oh, on top of this, Helldivers 2 is also now banned in Estonia, Lithuania, and Latvia. Uh, as of seven minutes ago, this is an hour since I, I, I've been recording this. Still trying to say this is Steam's fault. Uh, worst publisher in history, and he has the publisher log on Steam BD here, which is, you know, these things, they show you these, these are the logs um, overall, where it shows that things are being changed. Six days ago, you've got all the countries that are being added, that it's been banned right here on May 4th, 2200 hours UTC time. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's something else to see. I believe Japan is in this as well. 
or Japan has their own version of the game because there was some, I saw some rumblings about this uh, being in Japan, how they have to have their own, uh, own localization, own people that have spoken for the game for it to be there. They, they have some other rules behind it as well. <clears throat> so this is a story that's still unfolding. Sony is still doing dirty on this game. It's back up to 73% positive ratings overall, but there's still issues going on. They're still banning it in countries, and a lot of people just want to be able to play this game. Well, this is a pretty dirty move from Sony. I think they need to step it up here and just release their games online. Either you want to play on PlayStation or you want to play on PC. If you're going to go into the PC market, then release it on the PC market. Don't put these restrictions on the game. Don't put these restrictions on your catalog. It's absolutely ridiculous at this point. You want PlayStation Network to work? Then make it worldwide. You, you've got so many issues here with the PlayStation Network in general. There's no sense in trying to sit there and censor and be all controlling here, Sony. People want to give you money and you're sitting there going, no, we don't want your money. We want your data. We want you to sign up with our account. We want you to buy a PlayStation 5, and yet no one can buy it anyway because it gets sculpted. It's been a debacle after debacle for Sony. The PlayStation 5 has been a horrible system in that sense. From sculpers, from short distribution of the, of the system, it's absolutely asinine to continue to try and make this control to be your own worst enemy here, Sony, and just stop. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in the shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe. I got so tongue tied on here. Here's an extra little clip at the end just of a couple bloopers that I made. Well, it's time we take another dive into Hell Divers 2. <clears throat> Absolute dismal. Dismal. Dis. Oh my god. Dismal launch. It's been a horrible system in that. From scalpers to short, short funding the game or short changing the. Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say?